Jason Lowe, the Athletic. I know you say all the time every game presents its own challenges, but you know, Ty was talking for the last couple of days. He wanted you to be more assertive and aggressive early on. So when, when do you know that you've got it rolling early and, and you can take over a game the first six minutes like you did tonight? <clears throat> um, you know, just a feel. I mean, Coach Lou called up the first play for me and, and went down. So we uh, went back to it. You know, I was able to hit another one and you know, just felt like I was in a really good rhythm. So I just try to try to see how long I can stay in that zone and just um, you know, try to make a, a mark on the game early on, especially after the way we started at game one. You got so many guys who have never been to the spot before. Is there any part of you, you always say game one's a feel-out game. Was there any part of you that just kind of sat back the other night and wanted to see how they responded to the moment and reacted to the moment? Well, I mean, um, it's part of me, obviously, yeah. I mean, you, you know, it was first, you know, first uh, experience for a lot of our guys in game one. And for me, like I said, it's always a fill-out game to see how teams are playing me, playing our team, and um, seeing the ways I can be better, you know. And, uh, and I broke down the film uh, the last couple of days, uh, seeing ways I could try to be better for our team. So, um, you know, definitely, you know, in game one, I was, the, you know, more of the mind, you know, working uh, than anything. Dave McBenham in ESPN. It almost wouldn't be Cavs like if you didn't have a lineup change, considering you had 29 different ones in the regular season. But how, how do you feel like uh, the presence of Kyle and JR from the start opened up your game and just overall helped the team? Well, I mean, I think it's just familiarity, you know, with that lineup, you know, to start tonight. I mean, um, you know, you got four guys um, that's played in postseason games before, uh, you know, and then you add G. Hill, who's got his own experience as well. So, you know, that definitely helps from from, from that standpoint. Um, you know, it allowed, um, you know, JG and, and and Rodney to kind of get in, get settled into the game before their number was called. So, you know, I think it worked well for us tonight. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. LeBron, we've talked a lot this year about the Cavs' identity and how much it has changed because of so many different lineups and so many different rosters that you've had, basically. Um, when you play you with the four shooters, does it feel more like Cavaliers basketball to you? No, I mean, for me, um, you know, I just try to be as productive as I can no matter what lineup is out there. Um, you know, to start the game, you can obviously with the space – you know, with uh, Jr. And, and Kyle's ability to shoot the ball, and obviously Kev, um, you know, creates a lot more space. Um, you know, but for me, I just try to be productive no matter what line is on the floor, and it, and it felt good for us to get off to a good start. Scott Sargent, WFNY. Brian, a lot of talk is going to be about it with the offensive side of that new starting five. What can you say that those guys have done or did, at least on the stretch, defensively as well? Um, I mean. Listen, Jr. and Cal were huge, you know, late game. You know, um, Jr. being able to pick up Ola Depot on that full court pressure, get the steal, get the layup. Um, you know, Cal getting switched off onto to Thaddeus one possession. Where, you know, could have went either way with the with the push off or or a block, and then he comes right back and uh, has a one on one matchup with uh, Miles Turner and be able to get the strip late into the game, late in the game. Um, you know, they were huge defensively. Um, you know, so and we definitely needed that from them. <clears throat> Tom with his AP. Uh, Bron, Victor somehow got open for that last three. Went, went through your mind when he had that open look from the right wing? Uh, that we blew a coverage. Um, that was the thought that went to my head. Uh, we blew a coverage, and um, uh, we were lucky. And, uh, you know, I'd much rather be, um, you know, on time, on target than to be lucky. Um, but he missed it, and we was able to get the rebound. Overall, what do you think of the defensive effort by you guys? Um, I think, at, at, you know, we were better in game one. And, um, you know, we, we, we had some laws, obviously, once again. But I think we were uh, in tune. We were more physical at the point of attack. And, um, you know, and it definitely helped us out a lot. LeBron, Jason Spells, WTHR in Indianapolis. Given the fact you all came out so strong, so powerful, 18-point lead, what does that tell you about the Pacers, their resiliency to come back and make this a game late? Um, that they're resilient. A lot of teams struggle right, when teams get that big lead in this on the road in a difficult environment. Were you surprised they were able to come back? No, I don't think any of these 16 teams that's in the postseason, eight in the East, eight in the West, are that's, that's, that's going to struggle. You know, if they get down, I think we're all here for a reason. We all punched our ticket for a reason, and Indiana is one of those teams as well. Jeff Shadell, News Herald. 
So, LeBron, how do you think this uh, sets things up for game three? What do you mean? Well, I mean, the way you guys played tonight and the way they won uh, game one, how does this, what do you think this means for uh, the, the next game? Uh, it means the series is tied 1 1 and it's going to Indiana. So, you know, we got to be ready to play. Um, they got a great crowd and uh, they're a really, really good team. So, I mean, it just sets up for game three. It's just the next game. LeBron, PJ Ziegler, Fox 8. Um, I, I know you said coming into this game that uh, you wanted to be more assertive. Did you think it was going to take a 46 point effort to uh, lead your team to victory? Um, I didn't come into the game saying I want to be assertive. Coach Lou said it. Um, I never said I said I'm going to play my game. And, uh, and I did that tonight. And I, was, I made some shots early, got into a rhythm. Um, you know, defensively, I wanted to be in tune. I wanted to try to get my guys involved as well. But I mean, I, I don't. I just don't. I don't come in the game saying I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna do that. It just kind of happens to flow of the game. I play the game the right way, and that's just the result of it. So, you know, um, you know, we got you know some work to do uh, tomorrow. We're gonna watch the film, break it down, and see ways we can be better in Indiana, where we know it's gonna be a, a very hostile environment come Friday.